Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We want the fastest game show. I'm Mike C. And I am always getting into something, Fred. Fred, what? Fred, what? Yeah. What's going on, brother? So, as you can see, the title of this episode is Horror Story, brought to you by Fred. Yes. It <laughs> it only happens to me. It seems like it only happens to me now. Usually before we do the show, I'll tell Mike what happened, but I said, I'm going to have to surprise you, right? Okay, so y'all have to agree or disagree, right? Now, in retail, they say the customer is always right, all right? That's what they say, right? That's not true. That is not true. The customer is not always right. You have some ignorant-ass people that come out there, especially... During the first of the month, when they get these food stamps and they come out and they try to buy all the crab legs. And I'm like, man, you got four kids and you buying $75 worth of crab legs and your food stamps are only $100. What are you doing? Right. But this ain't the case. I'm just talking about this is what people do at the giant in D.C. Okay. I am talking about fast food. I had a terrible experience and y'all, y'all let me, y'all tell me if I'm wrong in that. And there's something I got to wish Mike, because this is, this happened on this day. All right. This actually happened on father's day and happy oh. belated father's day, Mike. So new for it. Okay. So what happened was I had did a Juneteenth event. Um, and I brought my 360 booth. I don't know why they call it a photo booth because it's a video booth. Um, I brought my video booth out there and I, I had it set up outside. They wanted me to do it outside. So I said, okay, so I needed to borrow some pavers. So my 360 won't hit the ground. Right. I had to borrow some, I had to get some on loan. Okay. When I went back to go return them because I was done using the pavers, I had went to Lowe's because that's where I borrowed the pavers from. Um, and Lowe's was closed. This was around like six, five, six, something. I don't remember. But I'm like, why the hell is Lowe's closed at this time? I'm looking at the parking lot. Mind you, I'm going to the one in Clinton, right? And it's closed. I don't see no cars in the parking lot. I'm like, yo, man, maybe, I don't know, maybe something happened. Maybe somebody set some some uh, towels on fire on this one like they did the Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, so I went to another Lowe's, and then that was closed. So by that time... I was rushing home and I went to get something to eat. I right? didn't feel like cooking. Um, and I was going to KFC that was down the street. Um, and this KFC is the one on Brian's road. This ghetto ass KFC on Brian's road. Every time I go to this KFC, they always forget something, right? They forget They'll give me my mashed potatoes and they'll forget the gravy. They'll give me something and they'll forget something else. And I always go there with a coupon, right? And that's the nearest thing to me. So I go there, right? Get there. They close at 10 o'clock. I get there at 9.50. Now tell me I'm wrong. Tell, tell me I'm wrong for getting there at 9.50, right? I get there at 9.50. And I go up to the door. The lobby's closed. I'm like, damn. I, I, let me go through drive through <laughs> I go through drive through Although I see cars in the parking lot, those are the employee cars. And I'm typing on the window. They tell me that they're closed. <laughs> By that time, it was like 9.55. And Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, but if a store closes at a particular time, 
Are they allowed to close five minutes early? No. Or even two They're minutes not. early? Close. Just close at a time. Okay. So time that's contracted on on the uh, on the on the door. So they were supposed to close at ten o'clock, and they had everything shut down. Now, I have worked in fast food. I have actually worked at KFC. Actually, I worked at the one on uh, Central Avenue. Got into an argument. I, I cursed the boss out for something. I forgot. I forgot what she did, man. But it was something. I was young then. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when you're working at a retail store anyway, you you don't close down early because you don't know, you know, if, if a customer come in there and you're shut down by the time, that before the time that you're supposed to close, you know you're going to get a complaint. You know you're going to get a complaint, right? So... Mm -hmm. They come to the window, this young man with glasses, I don't know his name, he comes to the window and says that we're closed. I said, bruh, y'all not supposed to close. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. And he's like, I'm sorry, but we're closed. I said, that's not my problem. I done raced all the way to get here. And you're telling me that y'all are closed. And we're going back and forth. And then the manager comes up. This light skinned, heavy set lady, she had a band aid on her arm. And she was like, Well, we're closed. We shut all the machines down, so we have nothing. There's this white guy that comes. Now, mind you, this is the KFC on Bri uh, uh, what, what did I say? Brian's Road. Brian's Road, right? Right next to the Tiger Mart or the Dash in that gas station, right there. Okay. The food line is behind it. I'm putting them on blast, y'all. This white guy comes. He must have been, you know, he was an employee. And I'm like, how y'all closed? And this guy is running out with chicken. He has chicken that I'm about to order. Now, I had a coupon for a 17-piece, uh, 17-piece or 12-piece or whatever. Some 12-piece, uh, um, three sides, and six biscuits. Mm -hmm. I'm going back and forth with this lady and I said, yo, give me corporate's number, right? And it's still, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. We're sitting up there arguing, going back and forth for 10 minutes. I, I mean, I'm saying uh, like three, three or four minutes. Finally, she says, well, what do you want? I said, I want the, uh, the 12 piece meal deal, the coupon that I had, right? So she says, okay, I'll go get it, right? She's like, well, we don't have this. We don't have, we don't have this. We don't have that. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I said, this guy's running out with chicken and he probably has the stuff that I get. I didn't get no wings. I didn't get, I, it's whatever meat that is, dark or light meat. I didn't get none of that, right? And um, I bet you he had wings. Now, there's things that you don't do to a black man as dark as myself, right? And one of the, the strictest rules that you don't play with, with, with dark skinned people is their chicken. You don't, you can lose a family member off of chicken. I'm, I'm telling you off of chicken. It could not just do not upset a black person with their chicken. I, I'm, I'm telling you that could chicken and spades is something that you should tread lightly with us. Chicken and spades and watch a store op if a store opens up called chicken and spades i've said it first that's not a bad <laughs> idea a place where you can come and get some fried chicken and play spades yeah watch somebody take my idea bro um so they they finally makes make my food and she I, i'm looking for the biscuits because i want some jam or jelly with biscuits you know what she gave me? <clears throat> she, she filled the box up with them, them dinner rolls, the rolls that they make the chicken little sandwiches out of. She gave me a whole uh, bunch of those. That ain't what I wanted. I wanted biscuits. I wanted everything that I paid for. And she made me pay the full amount. She made me pay the, she, she took the coupon and she made me pay the full amount with the stuff that I, she, with the stuff that I didn't get that I should have gotten, right? 
I took that chicken home and took them down. I, they're still, they're still in the refrigerator to this day. I, if, if these punk ass neighbors around my way, didn't call and complain about my ducks and geese, I would have fed it out there. I would have threw it out there to them. Y'all, I don't have my ducks or geese anymore because, uh, um, I know my neighbor, the, the, the chick next door and the hoe that lives beside her is the people that complain. And then the people that live behind me, but y'all didn't hear, hear that from me. So, um, so they get, they gave me those dinner, those rolls, man. I didn't even eat. I ain't eat, eat that. None of that stuff. Right. So, um, I'm like, yo, now this is the kicker, right? I said, after she gave me the food, I said, you know what? I'm not going to be petty because I feel that they're trying to get out of here. And maybe I was a little abrasive. So let me apologize to this lady, right? Because she handed me a piece of paper, but she didn't give me corporate number. She gave me the number to the store. So I, the, the little man came back. I said, bro, can you please go get your manager? He goes away, comes back like two minutes later and says that she says she's busy. Right. I said, yo, bro. I said, can you please get her? Because it's very important. I would like to talk to her. He goes back. He stays gone for five minutes. And then come back. I think I got that video that I'm going to put in here. I'll, I'll, if I still have that video, I'm going to put it in the, uh, I'm going to put it in here where y'all can watch it at the end. I, I'm not sure, but, or either I'll, I'll put a link in here for where that video is. Um, he comes back and she said, he says that she says she's busy. I said, you know what? Tell her I was going to squash it. I was going to hand her this receipt back that she wrote the number on. I said, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call this number anyway. I said, she had an opportunity to come here, but never mind. I said, never mind. And I drove off. So I called the next day and I talked to a manager and I tell him everything that happened about them shutting off the machines and them not having chicken and the little dude running out with the chicken that I paid for. And he was like, yo, just come back up here. Da, 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 this, that, and the third, and we'll straighten you out. Okay. So I'm out that day and I call up to KFC on Brian's road. And I was like, I spoke to the man job. I was like, yo, um, I'm coming up there. Right. He was like, no, this, this was a Friday. This happens on this happened on Father's Day. I returned Friday, right? Friday evening. I get up there and I asked for the manager. I forgot what his name is. But I was like, okay, I'm Mr. Young. I called you on the phone. He was like, yeah, what do you want? What do you want? And I'm thinking, God damn, y'all did me dirty now. The store manager's acting like this. And he was like, well, you didn't have to call me. You could have just came up here, right? And I know when we explain something, we put emphasis on a lot of things, but I felt so disrespected, right? By that light skinned lady and then the store manager, even though he comped me my stuff, he didn't replace my sides. He just gave me the chicken. Mind you, I didn't eat any of that food, any of that food, because I don't know if they spit in it or what they did to it. So, they they owe me three sides or at least some some of my money back. So the bottom line here is if you go to uh, the the KFC on Brian's Road, please show them this video and tell them that I said hello <laughs> because it's it, it's ridiculous. If your store closes at a certain time, you should close at that certain time. You don't know who's coming through. What if a bus full of seniors hungry seniors came there at 9 50 and you're telling them you your clothes that's money that you lost and you know somebody's gonna make a call for that that don't happen in gaithersburg that that don't happen uh anywhere in the in the suburbs up in them uppity communities none of that stuff happens up there but this hood that i live close to because yeah it's hood um 
that's what type of treatment I get. Now, am I wrong for calling the manager? Should should I should I extend this call to corporate? Because they're telling me, well, no, we don't have corporate. Everybody has corporate, but yeah, they're saying a- they're saying they don't have any corporate. So, Brian's Road, KFC on Brian's Road. Tell them to watch this video, and the light skinned heavy set lady that had the band aid on her arm. You're a horrible manager. You're a disgusting manager for 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 this could have all been squashed. The little man that came to the window that night, mind you, this happens on Father's Day. This happened Father's Day around 9 50 at night. And then the manager was just so I, I didn't feel like I was a valued customer there. So yeah. I would no longer visit any KFC. No KFC. They Y'all have lost my little ten dollars. I mean, it doesn't matter, but get this out right, and then go to KFC and show them, show them this video. Please show them this video. Hey, matter of fact, if you show them this video and you show me a video of you showing them, showing them, showing this video, I'm sorry, I will give you a copy of GTA Six when it comes out. How about that? How about that? How about that? GTA's all around. Huh? <laughs> GTA, you get a GTA. You get a GTA. If, right. if the first person that posts something on this, whether you're looking at it on YouTube or Facebook, I'll look at the timestamp. If you send us a video of you going inside the KFC and showing them this video, we will give you a free copy of GTA. Just get the word out. KFC, you shouldn't have closed up. You had they had to been closed at like 9 30 for them to shut that machine down and for them to clean up because they would look like they was ready to walk out the door. And I worked at KFC and I know how long it takes for you to shut all that stuff down, clean them dishes, and get ready to get the hell up out of there. I understand it was Father's Day. I understand that it was late at night and y'all want to get home and stuff like that. But bruh. You don't play with a black person. You don't play with their chicken and you don't renege. That's what you don't do with black people. Do not renege (laughs) while you're eating chicken. (laughs) Don't do it. Spades, spades and chicken will get you a divorce. Spades and chicken will get you separated. Spades and chicken will get you to find out that that baby that you cared for for 20 years is not yours. That's how powerful spades and chicken is. Spades and chicken is a powerful thing. Powerful thing. So I'm hurt. I'm hurt. They took my little 27. It was 27 something. But go to Brian's Road and show yourself. Give me a picture of the front of the store. Then give me a picture of you inside the store and then get a video of you showing them this video and we'll give you a copy of GTA. Fantastic. Well, that's another <laughs> hard story brought to you, my friend. You're giving away GTA 6 for showing us some pictures of some chicken. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, like always, you guys can hit us up at the game show, gmail.com. That's the game show today. Don't forget to head on the Facebook store page. Don't forget to tell everybody about these videos. Hit that notification bell. You know when we drop videos like these. Tell people about what we do here at the game show and keep on watching. And please remember to like and subscribe to all our social media networks and we'll see you next time on wwtf we want the facts the game show see you next time keep on watching thanks to the peace show